Okay, you're saying this is a chink in our armor, but I want to put to Mano Joshi the larger issue. Every officer from the top echelons of the Indian Army downwards who've been calling us since the morning, uh, Manoj, have been saying that don't air this story, don't show it because it impacts morale and discipline, which really is a catch-22 situation. Yet, of course, those people who are watching and are not corrupt are deeply anguished by what they see. But there is also the fact that if there is something wrong, if there is a malaise, it's better that the Indian media puts this out as opposed to allowing agencies like the CIA or the ISI to exploit the chinks in the armor that General Malik is referring to. You're absolutely right. I think it's absolutely perverse to say that we, the media, are putting out something and we are lowering the morale. You know, when you have a situation like you have the Machil enc uh, alleged encounter, where two people were brought from somewhere and shot and shown as uh, militants. Now, what I'd like to ask is, shouldn't the army people who were involved in that be seen not as army people, but as rogue people who have committed the act of murder? They're murderers. Okay? The problem is that when we look at crooks, when we look at this thing, the army, instead of shielding them in this false notion that if it's exposed, uh, morale is lowered, I think the army should say, we will take the lead in acting against these people because they are no longer, they do not deserve the protection of the uniform. Okay. And we are going to crack down on them. But unfortunately, the Indian army, you know, the, for example, I've been asking army, the army time and again that you people are so prompt in punishing wrongdoing. You've done a lot of it. You've done it in Kashmir. You've done it elsewhere. Why don't you reveal the names of those people who you have punished? Okay. Because those people then, after you punished them and convicted them, they are murderers, thieves or whatever it is. Why do you want to protect them? Absolutely. And Gaurav, this sting operation, as General Malik is saying, raises some very, very serious, serious issues. Some of the officers involved are from the core of military police whose task it is to ensure discipline and maintenance of law and order in the areas where they live. We're seeing an incident where an equipment worth 10 rupees was sold for 6,400 rupees, was, was shown to be bought for 6,400 rupees. There are fake TVs, there are fake bills. It really is very alarming. It's not happening in just one cantonment with one officer. It seems to be happening across the board. And that is extremely, extremely worrisome. Uh, when this sting operation, uh, when our reporters came back with this information and we saw the entire footage, it was very alarming. It's not just happening in one brigade area. It's not happening in one cantonment, as you rightly pointed out. Whether it's two core in, in Ambala or in Jodhpur, it's happening all across and it's happening so openly. Fortunately, these were undercover reporters. God forbid, as you rightly pointed out, had these been ISI agents, they would have openly had the entire information just by paying 6,000, 8,000 or 10,000 rupees. They would have had the entire information of whatever the core, the core that's supposed to strike into Pakistan, what it lacks. General yeah, Malik, wow. is the Indian Army doing enough to set right, right its internal health? We've seen the current chief of the Indian Army staff in his few public interactions say, the internal health of the army is of core concern is enough being done because there are just so many incidents that are now coming to light and surely there can be no smoke without fire is enough being done how concerned are you sir look we are all concerned and uh, uh, we've been speaking to each other and as the president chief has rightly put it that this is a malaise which he wants to remove as soon as possible and uh, i have no doubt in my mind that he is giving it the right kind of a priority. Uh, but let me also assure you that people who are indulging it and once they are caught, they are being punished. They are being punished. There is no case which is spared. The only thing I would like to say here as far as punishment is concerned, that it must be exemplary, not only uh, in terms of uh, whatever the value of the corruption is, but also it should be according to the rank. If a senior officer is involved in corruption, well, his punishment should also be greater than it would be for a junior. Because okay. one would like to see the senior officers setting example for the juniors. And you cannot punish a junior officer uh, properly uh, in an exemplary manner if you find that there are other seniors also who are indulging in it. So punishment must be deterrent. It must be exemplary, which I think is, is happening now.